Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dr. Deep Dozen and this is my dinner making routine. We're gonna make dinner for my family of 14. Wednesdays are extra fun because it is a round the world night. We pick a different country and uh, we research some recipes and I try and make these new recipes. Um, they don't always go wonderfully, but it's really fun. It's my favorite night of the week to cook uh, and crock pot, Cro crock pot night or around the world night. It's a toss up, both my favorites. Anyways, uh, it's around the world night. We are making food from the country of Greece tonight. So I found some Greek recipes. I'm going to start by prepping for the steak gyros. You guys told me I was saying it wrong. I apologize. Um, steak gyros, I'm gonna slice up the steak and get the marinade going for that. Actually, I should get the marinade going and then slice up the steak so I can put it right in the marinade. That would make sense. Uh, and then we're making moussaka. I'm sure you're gonna tell me I said that wrong because I'm really bad at pronouncing all of these <laughs> authentic cuisines. Um, and then we're making a chickpea salad. And I have two meetings tonight, um, six o'clock, eight o'clock. So I knew I wasn't gonna have to, time to make the dessert I wanted to make. So I just got donut holes and we're gonna like fake it as a Greek dessert, the, um, I forget the name of it. It's over on my menu, but hi. Let's get the marinade going. How are you? Um, this recipe is from, and I'm sorry, Bodhi is chilling in the playroom watching his YouTube something or other. He likes those video game YouTube shows. Um, so I apologize for the background noise. I know it's kind of annoying, but you know what? My kids were in school all day and they want to decompress while I make dinner. So that's what it is. I don't, I don't mind. We're just gonna have to block it out. If that annoys you, I'm sorry. So the marinade is, um, okay. The oh, I know. This recipe, I was like, what was I just gonna say? This recipe is from Gypsy Plate. Uh, I'll put it in the description of this video. If I forget, please remind me. Sometimes I forget to do that. Uh, so, oops, this is bank form. It somehow got in with my recipes, so well, that's great. All right, so we need, I'm doing math, give me a minute. Um, because I'm like, multiplying this recipe for 14 people uh, instead of four. So I'm going to do, the original recipe says half a cup of EVOO. So I'm gonna do two cups. I don't think this bowl is gonna be big enough. Extra virgin olive oil. This is the uh, Italian classics one. Really good. Okay. And four times four. Uh, like, I don't always do the full. Okay, whenever it says minced garlic, this is what I use. I just use the pre-cut minced garlic instead of the fresh garlic. I mean, it's it's fresh, it's good. But you know what, it just saves me from peeling those teeny tiny garlic bulbs. I don't always do the full amount of garlic. I personally love garlic. I would do extra garlic. I would just eat this by the spoonful. But. Some people in my family, <clears throat> Josh, don't like garlic as much as I do. So I'm not going to do like the full amount. Just do a little bit. And that's probably James. Hold on. All right. One lemon juice. Oh my gosh. I ordered a juicer. A, a lemon juicer thingy. 
I should be getting it this week. I placed this huge order. I'll do an unboxing from Timu. Timu size I am. Anyways, one lemon. Okay, so I need four lemons juice. We're gonna do it the good old fashioned way. Because I don't have a fancy juicer yet, but I did order one. Did you guys clean up outside? Patrick? Did you guys clean up out there? Yeah. Jason, did you get your paper airplane from the front yard? Or is he downstairs? Yes. I forgot. You forgot your lunch, that's okay. Did you just buy lunch? Yeah, but I had no more money. I just put money on everyone's accounts. Wait, today or last week? Last week. They're gone. Oh, I got it. I'll put more money on your account. What'd you get? I got two pizzas, a cookie, <laughs> and a yogurt. And guess what? I was about to get a Gary, but I got to look it away. Uh, and it was a lifetime. It's called Cherry Hunting. Oh. Do you have any more white on Yes. It's somewhere. Should be in the milk fridge. Okay. Four yes, they finally had that one back. I hate how we love that. I'm like, how many scratches I got from doing that? Patrick has been making uh, zombie apocalypse defense weapons <laughs> out of sticks. He made this. Really awesome. I'll show them after. Really, really awesome um, bow and arrow. With the with an actual arrow that shoot, and that I'm trying to actually shoot. Yeah, out of sticks and string and rubber bands. Do not ask me how. Um, I am so creative. I can make anything out of this. Anything I can randomly find. It's true. Yeah. Alright, so if, no, you know what? Yeah. So if I had a tank, um, like like the like the shooter. No, I can do with it. I get to attach it to the top of our van and get missiles and then fire that. Okay. That's my next plan. That would work. I know we're going to call our van. What? The tank machine. All right. Sully the tank machine. Yes. That's the new van of our van. Sully the tank machine. It begins. I'll be popping I like it. All right. I'm doing a cup of red wine vinegar. Why are you mixing anyway? Uh, we're doing Around the World Night 3. We picked it. This is a marinade for the steak. Steak? I like steak. Yeah. No, how much everyone what? in this house loves yes, steak. This is not doing the homework, Devin. Yeah, the staff on Tuesdays and oh. Thursdays now. Really? Because he's not doing his homework. Only I do it. Oh, everyone's just trying their best. I know. I said I was sad. Cause we always we always next to each other. Oh. I am looking for the oregano. Give me a moment. You yeah. hope. It's a spice. It's a green spice. Okay. Oregano. See? Oh, this is green. Yeah. I thought it was brown. It's like a brown is green. Yeah, it's dried out. Because it's dried out. But you know what? It's dried out. Right, so, four tablespoons of oregano. Thing, but this one will work. It's just a whole one. Four tablespoons equivalent to a quarter cup. Or am I making that up in my head? Okay. Four tablespoons of oregano. Four teaspoons chili flakes, red pepper flakes, red whatever you call. Them. And some salt and pepper. 
whatever steak you wanted. I got sirloin and strip steak because that's what the store had. to the YMCA with Oma. Oh. I love the mint. Yeah. Mint. So then this has to marinate. For 30 minutes. So while this is marinating, we'll get the. I need to look up how to say it. Moussaka. Made. Because then I think. Yeah. Anyways, so around the world night definitely takes me longer than my typical dinners. Uh, mostly because I don't know these recipes and learning as I go. But it's definitely fun to try something new. However, I really only have time for it about once a week. Because our schedule is insane. Around the world night, the day changes like each season. It's been pretty consistent Wednesdays for a while. But if horseback riding night changes, then around the world night changes because it has to be on a night that we don't have horseback riding. Because I can't be here and at the barn. I try to crack pot night on barn nights. We are doing cowboy stew this week for crack pot night. Oh my gosh, I did that again. Hello. today as I had planned to get the chickens, mealworms, and the dogs new dog food. But thank you for all the comments on dog food suggestions. Um, I'm still going to go there and look around and look at the ingredients and stuff because I've been kind of researching what the best dog foods are. Um, just because there's newer research on it. Okay, I need a new battery. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Batteries go away. Oh. 
my six o'clock meeting just got canceled. So that's wonderful. Uh, awesome. Text Josh. I'll clean my phone. Yes, honey. Um, James isn't home. It's nice of you to volunteer him to babysit. And we are, I am making dinner right now, so we're not going to go to Belfair right now. I just told you why. Why? Do you, why do you think? Why? You tell me why. going to be more involved.
also are going. Where did you get chocolate chips from? Where do you want to? You can get a bowl yourself. Oh, no muffin cup. Sure. One more steak. One more steak? I don't like steak. It's disgusting. And it stinks very bad. Only you could get this. Mm -hmm. She does like steak. <laughs> You love pasta. I'm actually not making pasta tonight. Go shower and then we'll do electronics time. It's fine. I'm gonna take mom. I'm taking the quicker way down. Okay. And bye. I'm gonna prep the moussaka. Um, I'm just converting because it says kilogram. Are we talking pounds here? So I have to figure out. So 2.2 pounds. So, hi, honey. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna use this whole bag of red potatoes. Um, okay, yes, you guys can have electronics time in the family room. Okay. Bodhi Blaze, you can turn that off and go to your electronics time. Um, they get an hour of electronics before dinner. Um, okay. So I'm going to do this whole bag of potatoes. And I got, oh, I got three eggplants. I guess I only got two. Let me just check the fridge and make sure one didn't roll out up there. Yeah. I only got two eggplants. So, 
He looks, I'm not gonna peel these though because I think I bought the wrong type of potatoes. Um, so when do I put in the onions? onions go with the never mind okay the onions don't go with the potatoes and the eggplant that goes separate okay just check it can you wash these Up, but she might bring Brie home. Brie's at a friend's house. James at a friend's house. Somehow at the end of every day, we try and have everyone home for dinner. It doesn't always happen, but we try. Alright, I'm going to do a pan of potatoes and a pan for the next round. It's really quiet during electronics hour. <laughs> Josh is texting me, sorry. It's a date. That's how we do it, modern day parenting. Through text. Sorry, there's like a sippy cup right there. Okay, I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees. that 
right, I'm just reading ahead. So while these are roasting, we make the meat filling, ground beef, onion. Well, you could use ground beef or lamb. My kids are not fans of lamb, so I picked ground beef. Then we add tomato paste, chicken stock, cinnamon, allspice, parsley. Ugh, I didn't get fresh parsley. Let's use dry. Uh, and crushed tomatoes. Gosh, I wrote down the ingredients. Okay, so not all of the ingredients like in the recipe, I should have read the recipe because not all of them are listed in the ingredients, if you know what I'm saying. So I didn't get crushed tomatoes because um, I went off the ingredient list. So if you make this recipe, get crushed tomatoes. <laughs> um, but you know what, we'll use diced tomatoes it is what it is. What's up? Do you want a bone? This, this is her begging face. She's pretty nonchalant about it, isn't she? This is how she begs for her bone every night. i get it in a minute when I go get the ground beef out of the garage fridge. My dogs have no faith in me. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna drop something. Did you just eat that potato? Oh no, she didn't. <laughs> Raw potato. Yum. All right, Um, how much ground beef do I need? 500 grams, someone help me. I don't know what that means. All right, my oven is preheated. And that was perfect timing. some olive oil. I like a healthy drizzle of olive oil. And let me go get the ground beef in the garage. No, let me look up the measurement. We just got home. She's opening her mail. Do you need help? I'm gonna brown up one pound of ground beef and then we'll chop up our onions. We bought herself a new doll. It's really cute. Yeah. 
He doesn't look like you thought. He I thought he did. I thought he had the fluff. Oh, he's really cute. Oh, I like him. Yeah. You thought you could play with him. They just started electronics too, so I know. they probably won't want to play right now. Ground beef was not browning, it was just sitting. Slice the leg. Thank you.
Shake it, shake it, shake, shake, shake it, shake it. Open it, Mom. What? All right, I am in the garage. Um, this is where we keep the majority of our food. Let me just put that back. Someone got that out. Uh, and there's a basketball. Anyways, I need to get, this is where we keep the tomato products. I need to get tomato paste and tomato sauce. And then I needed the diced tomatoes because I didn't get crushed tomatoes. Okay, um, putting the ground beef in the freezer for next week. Chicken stock. I knew there was something else I needed. Okay, I added the onions to the ground beef and now we're gonna add in the rest of the ingredients. So lost on this recipe because it doesn't say the measurement for chicken stock. I have no idea. Oh gosh. Ooh. I gotta probably should find a different recipe. Or just keep going and just hope for the best. All right, that was my can opener. So. changed my mind I'm going to make this sauce that I'm not even going to try to pronounce um so that I can get the moussaka assembled and then while that is in the oven the kids are gonna have a little bit longer electronics time tonight because I didn't realize um this took so long to cook so that's got to go in the oven for 45 minutes I think. um I gotta get those veggies out. So then we'll make the sauce, assemble the moussaka, put it in the oven. While that's in the oven, then we'll make the steak and make up the gyros. So warm up. 
four cups of milk. This recipe I chose is just really confusing. However, it smells amazing. I took the eggplant out. I had the potatoes cooking a bit longer. I'll just do egg yolks. Well, that didn't work. Chickens eat their own eggs. It's bigger fry. Um, alright. Once the butter has melted, we're gonna add in the flour and then the milk and then the egg. Mix
then it says remove from heat. Remove from heat, add the egg yolk and nutmeg. Miracle. James just got one. Dash nutmeg and you stir. Hi. I'm not alive. I'm just making a cooking video. Yeah. Oh, long two days. Right, now we're going to return the heat until sauce thickens. Cinnamon. Okay. And the rest of the eggplant. of lasagna. Oops. 
Okay, I'm going to make the chickpea salad. I got this recipe from Ambitious Kitchen. And while I'm making the salad, I'm going to get the steak cooking. So I've got oil heating up on stove. I'm gonna have to do this in batches. Um, like five to six minutes each batch. Character of the adult Sheldon as a kid. All this stuff is true. It's a no. It's a TV show. I mean, he actually. I think he might be based off of a real person, but the TV show is just a TV show. It's not like it's real life. <laughs> I mean, you two watch like watch like he, he, he wanted to trip his dad to see a spatial watch. And, um, and it started raining, and like, you said, like, his dad's asking about his favorite topic of how like, lightning works. And then, young, and then older someone even said that years later, he remember who point asked the question that made him happy. And then, like, uh, like and then, uh, you know, uh, after a little bit, he, and then he even said, like, it was one of his happiest trips. 
agreed to his dad, and he agreed, said it was one of his greatest regrets that he didn't tell his dad that that wasn't the best trip he had. Uh huh. Yeah. Also, apparently, young Sheldon made Elon Musk rich. How is that? Because <laughs> apparently, young Sheldon got a huge shape of Huh? Sheldon, you I don't know. Well, apparently, in the show, young Sheldon, he uh, was like, he uh, talked to the professor about um, how we shot, like, um, return our shot works. Mm -hmm. so, like, in the past, like, the highest shot works out there. And then, like, Musk, Elon Musk, which he read in his paper, and he like, a journal about it, right, so that like, got out of his hands. So, like, years later, in the first, um, Re, like, uh, re enter a shuttle, like, he got the land. Like, apparently, it was Elon Musk's company. No way. That made the first, um, re landing shuttle back down to Earth. Oh my god. Elon Musk's company. Wow. And even, it, it, he didn't see himself, like, the, the, um, the show, like, like yeah. Just, like, show it. That's crazy. Apparently, Elon Musk owes him a lot. I know. <laughs> like, he at least owes him like a million dollars at least. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's no one to show the TV's here. Yeah. A big cancel. Yeah, but it was on for a long time. How long? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Probably 10, 8 years? 10, 8 years? It was on for a long time. I used to love that show. No, I want to bet you that SpongeBob has been on for longer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think any show beats SpongeBob. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how. <laughs> that show is going to be one of like 50 years or something. <laughs> and all it is just talking seafood. Yes. Yeah. Even grown ups like it. It's entertaining. Just talk to seafood though. Yeah. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five.
Your dad coached college a bunch of times or high school? Like a Euro 
far. Okay, we've got the Euro station. Josh is telling me it's gyro, but I told him, I told him, you guys told me it's gyro. We've got the moussaka and the chickpea salad. Come here for it. You sure? Yeah. I'll, I'll give it to you, okay? You don't have to see the chaos of trying to get dinner to Josh all the littles. Thank you for making dinner with me and trying out these new recipes for Around the World Night Greece. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time.